Good evening, it's your boy, the gang, 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 I, I do want to give the series the props where it's due, which is because My Hero is probably one of the last long-running shonen we had, other than One Piece, mind you. I think the only other shonen that's right behind it in terms of time is, like, Black Clover. And Black Clover's been on this annoying, like, quarterly situation since, what, 2022-ish? No, I think it's 2023 is when it, it kicked off, so... That's that's been fun, for lack of a better term. But My Hero has officially ended. The anime's in the last arc, and I think we got another movie coming out. We might have one more movie after this one, probably, depending on if they finish the last arc this year, which they could. I just don't know if they're going to, because if this turns into an Attack on Titan situation where this thing drags, man, it's going to be a... Ugh. I don't really want to talk about the spoilers with this particular ending, because... To be real with you, the fandoms kind of ruined that experience, among other things. My Hero was a series that I think came out at the right time. And the American fan base gleamed onto it in a way that other shows just didn't get that same kind of attention. Partially because it gleamed into it around the era where superhero content in general was at an all-time high. Between all the Marvel movies coming out and the Avengers... And all of a sudden, in 2014, 2015, here comes a sneaky little series called My Hero Academia that is a good mixture of superhero stuff and, and slice of life shenanigans with high schoolers. It just became this perfect mesh. And regardless of how I feel about My Hero, My Hero absolutely does deserve some of his accolades. It, it definitely hit in a time in which the fandom was very much missing any real content. I want you to understand something. This was a time during Shonen Jump where we didn't have a lot, right? We didn't have a Bleach. We didn't have a Naruto. Heck, we didn't. At that point, we only had One Piece in the occasional shows coming out, trying to get on the train of Shonen Jump and never really quite succeeding. And to be fair, Hirokoshi tried originally years before with a one shot called Barrage that did get serialized for a little while. Not long. I think it was like a couple of chapters, but you could see his art style. And if you go back and look at Barrage, Barrage very much, you can like, oh yeah, that's Hirokoshi. Like the main character, low-key looks like Deku to a lesser degree. And you could say the same thing for Tabata and Hungry Joker before Black Clover. It's like, it's just, you get to see them grow into the mangaka they would eventually become. But... My Hero came out and was immediately successful. It's still one of the more successful series that come out of Shonen Jump in recent years, or I guess realistically recent decade. As much as I want to say recent years, My Hero is like 10 years older in the manga and getting close to that in the anime world because the anime came out a couple years later after the manga had already been out for a few years. But My Hero had a lot going for it, had very interesting and likable designs. An interesting and cool premise, although cliched, but it's shonen. When is shonen plots not being cliched? Let's just be real here. And an interesting world and story to tell. And I'll be real with you, I think the earlier seasons of My Hero don't have a lot of problems in them at all. Maybe like one or two things, but the majority of the early stuff is pretty entertaining. I've always said, and I'll repeatedly say, the I don't think really the problems kicked in with My Hero until we get the Ch to the Chisaki arc. And the Chisaki arc, I think, is mostly a good arc, minus what happens towards the end of it with, with how he handles the ending of that arc. But I think the majority of that arc is still good. And then things just kind of go crazy from here. Now, if you've seen the ending, you already know what's going on. The only two things I'll probably bring up when it comes to my hero in regards to the ending is that the fandom has absolutely made... My Hero, a less enjoyable series as a whole, but specifically, I think he made, I think the fandom made the series less enjoyable for Hirokoshi himself. One of the biggest complaints that people talked about when it came to the ending of My Hero was, 
Where is our shipping confirmations? We can got no romance, none of that. Even though there were little subtle hints throughout the story of romances for certain characters. Why is none of this addressed? Well, if you know anything about my hero, my hero has a big fandom between boys and girls. And which let's just say the girl side of the fandom is very much about shipping, which is nothing really new. This has happened with other shonen and shoujos and will continue to happen with anime in general. But with my hero specifically, because it's a shonen that doesn't really focus on romance, or that is like the main aspect of the story, the fandom got kind of angry about these subtle things and these subtle shippings that they wanted to do. And I'm going to be real with you, my heroes got way out of control. With the whole yaoi shipping with Bakugo and Deku and Shoto, things just kind of got crazy. And, and people couldn't stand any moment in the manga where he showed or talked about any interest between like Uraraka and Deku because that was a hetero ship that they didn't interest in. And I want people to understand this before I continue. This has nothing to do with whether the ship is gay or straight as much as it has more to do with the toxicity that came from fans because it wasn't the ship they cared about. Which kind of gets into some of the problems My Hero has as a story in general, which is the fact that My Hero has two sides of it. It has its hero side with all the pro heroes and the villains and that stuff, right? And the problems with modern hero society. And then you have slice of, slice of life high school shenanigans. Oh, we're in high school. We're going to do high school things together. Let's go out to the mall and shop together. Let's hang out as friends in our little cliques, right? And there's obviously a dichotomy in between those two fandoms. because, And I think My Hero, in a lot of ways, was caught in between its two fandoms. Because, I'm going to be real with you, the pro hero side is the vastly more interesting thing out of My Hero. Like, the, 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 the high school stuff is so uninteresting to the majority of the series that at a certain point, they just stop acknowledging it, the side at all. Like, in the later arcs, this just kind of goes away. You get, like, subtle and small moments... But the high school stuff just kind of goes away or it's like the least popular arcs in the entire series because no one wants to talk about what we're doing in the Olsen or, or like class training when they got you out here fighting pro villains or main villains who can do things like destroy entire cities, right? The shenanigans in high school mean nothing. Let's have a culture festival. We don't care. We got mob bosses dealing with super villains and stuff and that's cooler than, than generic culture festival. Like, it's just, that's how it is. And I think when it comes to the fandom and when it comes to the story, I think they both ended up suffering for it. Because the fandom like this stuff because shipping moments for, for characters that they don't necessarily like otherwise. There are characters that people like in, in this side of the, that don't mean anything on this side. Like, Sero means nothing on the pro hero side. But it means, but like people love Sero or Tokuyami. It's when y'all like, oh no, these characters are relevant in the main plot. No, they're like relevant in like the last part of the plot, which would be like the wars. Yeah, that remind you, the wars we're in. And I think a lot of people's other issue with my hair was the fact that we got stuck with two wars back to back, and that everything in my hero took place over the course of a year, and they're in high school. And that's what I mean by, like, he, I don't think Hirokoshi never really figured out a way to balance the two. I think he did an okay job in the beginning when the stakes were lower. But I think he raised the stakes so high that by the, the high school stuff could never catch up. It could it could never catch, like, it was like this. Like, the, the, the main plot outweighed the high school stuff to such a severity that when we got to the end of the manga, people went, that's right, we're only in the first year of high school. These fuckers got like two more years. We, we, we like because you had to be like, okay, now the main plot is done. Oh, that's right, high school. You ain't finished school yet, which is part of the reason why the ending is kind of what it is. The other problem I think my hero had is the fact that my hero, my hero is I think the master of creating intrigue and then ruining it immediately. What I mean by that is. There is no crazy surprises in My Hero in terms of plot or revelations. There is none. There, the only, I think the closest we got that I think is a cool revelation is when we found out that All For Ones, the All For Ones like little protege, Shigaraki, is the grandson of All Might's teacher who taught him. 
Like the fact, like they're connected in that way. And then essentially you're fighting her family member because he couldn't save everybody. Right. That's, I think that was a cool revelation, but if he's trying to set things up for the future, he's so bad at it. He's so bad. I can mention Dobby. He's so bad at it. He's so bad at making anything. The traitor. He's so bad at making me be interested in plot with him because he doesn't know how to write it. Like, man, who's this character who can use fire just like Todoroki? And he also seems to have some sort of connection with Todoroki. And his father was known for being abusive and marrying for the sake of doing proper quirk breeding for proper quirk manipulation to get a son that would have a strong fire and ice side so that he could be the ultimate hero. I wonder if he had any failure kids like his two others. Oh, go whoop de doo Dobby's related to Shoto all of a sudden. I never saw that coming. And you're just like, it's just, just stop. You're not good. Oh, we've got characters who might be a traitor in UA. This plot thread that was mentioned like a while ago. And he was just like, well, this might play an important role in the future. And it took until like the last arc to be like, oh, we got this traitor character, a character who's, who's been around, but it's kind of suspicious and isn't doing what they're supposed to be doing. Oyama looks pretty as suspicious. And we give him a whole chapter where he's just being weird and... And he's being weird and like just just giving off bad vibes. Oh, oh no, he he just correlates with Deku about the struggle of controlling your power, almost as if he didn't have his power initially either. Hmm, doesn't seem kind of suspicious, doesn't it? Oh, look at the review. Oh, Yama was the traitor. It's 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 bad. It's so uh, it's such bad writing, dog. If you were meant to get me excited or interested in the overarching plot with these threads. Maybe don't write out the answer while explaining it to me because it's almost like you think I'm dumb and you think I'm not going to catch it when everybody caught it. The other issue is that, especially in the last couple of arcs, it's kind of obvious that he didn't really understand how to do proper power creep. It got to the point where the heroes were pulling away so much from the villains. And the idea is that the villains and the heroes are supposed to be growing at the same rate. It's obvious he was trying to do this like student pupil thing student teacher situation with both Deku and Shigaraki with their respective teachers and so they would slowly be growing throughout arcs the problem is is that Deku at a certain point started pulling so far away it was like oh Shigaraki ain't got nothing on Deku and so then they had to give Shigaraki this whole arc to make him somewhat comparable and then eventually we had to do some BS where we just start giving villains plot holes like the power of friendship but for villains to like balance things out and it kind of turns the series into a fucking drag as a result you're just kind of like waiting okay are the villains gonna lose now no power of friendship okay fine it's a kind of a nice turn on words that like not only heroes get that kind of love but so do villains like the power of friendship between villains will create opportunities for them to do become bigger threats okay fine i can dig it to a degree okay it's still happening okay it's still happening damn even fairytale doesn't have this happen the whole arc oh my god can we can we and oh, okay now the plot now now it's run out oh, okay now they're losing okay some of them are dying Okay, now we're done. And it's just like, okay, I, I just... My Hero will always be kind of a weird series. And I think, honestly, Hero Koshi kind of burned himself out towards the end of it. We're past the days of shonen anime mangaka being able to, like, properly rock out for a decade on a story without physically going, breaking down. Tabata couldn't do it. Hero Koshi couldn't do it. Hell, even some of our favorites, even freaking Kubo towards the end, was struggling to, to get pages, to get chapters out in a timely manner, and they still be of the same quality. Hell, for, for Hirokoshi, at a certain point, we were getting chapters that were like nine pages. It's just, it, it, I think it's physically impossible. And the sad thing is, is my opinion, when it comes down to my hair, my hair could have been longer and broken up better. I think my hair has a bunch of cool ideas that get really terrible execution. And the cold reality is, is that as much... I want to dog Hirokoshi out in his entirety. 
He still created a series that a lot of people love and enjoy, and will continue to love and enjoy for future generations. I don't think anything is nowhere near perfect. I think it ended too soon. I think it wasn't properly paced, especially towards the latter half of it. But I think he's like, look, I have done what I set out to do. He has made a quality series. The fandom enjoys sex series. I think he's come to peace in terms with the fact that, hey, this is what I've made. This is my legacy. It's not perfect, but you guys enjoyed it. I get that y'all want it Yowie, but hey, y'all have fan fiction. Leave me alone. I'm serious. Leave that man alone about the freaking Yowie. It's ridiculous. The Yowie fan base for My Hero needs to chill out. Not because you like Yowie, but because you're harassing a man for not writing the story the way you wanted him to write it when it's his story. Leave that man alone, okay? Jesus Christ. You have fan fiction and doujins. And don't tell me there are any doujins because you keep writing them. All right. I just, I just, it, 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 it's the series will always have a spot in my heart to some degree. It's not my favorite of the new gen. I'm still a Black Clover fan, ride or die. But at the end of the day, you still wrote a title that absolutely captured the hearts of many people, connected with multiple people across any language barrier, and created characters that is, even if I don't necessarily love, People do love absolutely to death, and I appreciate you for your efforts. It wasn't perfect, and you damn sure didn't stick that landing. I don't give a fuck what anyone tells you, but we appreciate the effort because it still created something I was invested in. I still followed it for 10 years, so that's got to count for something. Hell, I didn't even do that with Bleach, and arguably Bleach was more interesting of a plot. Jesus Christ. But yeah, I just wanted to talk about it, just give my thoughts and opinions. It's over. Respect to your man, Deku. All for one and one for all. And uh, goodbye to one of the last long-running shonen we had left. Because when you look at modern shonen now, you ain't got that many series left that are actually going to last long. I mean, hell, Black Clover's in its last arc. Yozakura Family's in its last arc. A lot of the other shows we've been getting are kind of like more slice of life-ish, like... I need, I need, I miss my battle shonen, and I don't think we're going to get any more of those for at all, honestly. I think it's just too taxing for individuals to just put out long running battle shonen. But uh, GG's, GG's. So thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for the support. This has indeed been your boy, the insane game freak. Life is indeed a game. I do play to win, and I will catch you guys later, 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 later. Detroit! Smile!